you're having, what are you gonna date? That tastes amazing. Once I get hungry, I'll eat. Hello guys, good morning, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be here and I am already kind of like ready for the day. Like I did my hair, I did a little bit of tinted, tinted, no. BB cream, do you call it BB cream? Yes. And I'm ready to rock and roll the day. I'm going to drop a leg at school and then work, 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 work. I feel like you guys need to see my skimono robe. My friend gave it to me for my birthday and literally this robe makes me feel like a queen in the house. Anyway guys, I completely forgot to announce which kind of video we're having today and we are having of what I eat in a day because you guys love those ones you guys love those ones and you know me I love eating healthy but I love eating simple I don't like to overcomplicate but at the same time I like to give you some interesting recipes so stay with me because today I actually will be sharing with you my uh, recent find it's so good I can't wait to eat it it's a sweet peas mash and I've been trying different recipes sweet pea mash and this one is a perfect one so stay with me it's gonna be kind of towards the end of the video so you have to watch this okay and totally off topic I also got yesterday fresh flowers and you guys know I love fresh flowers always have them home anyway let's go I am going to have my juice coffee and drop Allegra off at school we need to put a perfume there. you need to put perfume on yourself <laughs> okay, okay we'll do. go eat perfume Okay guys, so you know me, I like to have my green juice in the morning. There is celery, there is cucumber, there is apple, green apple, orange, and a little bit of lemon. This combo I always do, I feel like that's my favorite combo. It's refreshing, it's not too sweet, and it feels like there's a lot of greens. Did I mention the cucumber and celery? I hope I did. Anyway, cheers. <laughs> Hey guys, you know already that I'm not really a big breakfast person, so I, I usually wake up, have my juice, have my coffee, go work out. Just because I told you like I have more of a like a later dinners, uh, just because it fits my lifestyle and I love going out for dinner. So in the morning I'm not really hungry and I don't force myself eat until I actually am hungry. So I'll have a, a coffee, I already had a juice. I'm gonna do a workout and then once I get hungry, I'll eat. So I like my coffee with almond milk. I use this one by Elmhurst. I've been a fan of this milk for a long time just because it's really small ingredient list. It's only literally two ingredients, water and almonds. And it foams well, which is a huge, huge plus. Another thing, I actually bought a coffee capsule in Italy that is from the best coffee place in the world. And I was like, please let them fit, let them work on my Nespresso machine. They do. They actually do so every morning now it's kind of coming to the end but every morning I have a little Italian coffee it makes me think about my summer vacation that just ended a few weeks ago anyway I'm making an almond milk cappuccino and I'm gonna have a little moment for myself outside <music> Now that I finished my workout, I worked out today at home and I hope you know I have beautiful, beautiful workout series on my channel. You can find the link here and check it out. So guys, I wanted today to talk with you about recovery after workout. If you're, you're not an athlete, but you're doing like workouts regularly, I feel like it's so important to pay attention to recovering your body, right? It's balancing your diet with right nutrition so you can feel strong and your muscles can be toned and also stretching is super important 
them so you know don't get injured and also number three is really important to replenish electrolytes in your body so i wanted to introduce you today to our partner element it's an electrolyte that tastes amazing they have so many different flavors so every day i have like different flavor and also they have no junk in them which is big plus because nowadays it's so hard to find things that are without unnecessary ingredients okay guys while i'm mixing my mango chili drink in my fancy glass bottle i wanted to mention that element offers us with every purchase a pack of samples which is eight flavors in it so you can actually try and decide which one is your favorite so follow the link down below in the description and try it guys you will not regret it really highly recommend you this bottles have been such a great purchase i put in them a juices i put in them like electrolyte water like a lot of things my husband takes it to the office really was like a worse purchase worth the money So it's lunchtime and I will be making something very simple today but super delicious. It's a chicken wrap with vegan cheese, pesto, arugula, tomatoes and a little bit of shredded, is it shredded? Yeah, shredded carrots. So I'll be showing you today how I prepare chicken. I'm a believer that you can eat healthy at home and it doesn't take as much time if you're really good at prepping and like kind of multitasking. So today I'll be showing you how I make this like simple baked chicken uh, in the oven takes literally 15 minutes but i'm making a little bit more of it so tomorrow if i want to eat the same wrap i don't have to spend time on making this step of cooking chicken and plus i will also throw some extra chicken tenders so i can pack for my daughter's lunchbox as well so let's go just literally notice my hair was on the tray so i clip my hair back low carb than classic pesto i honestly would love to make a classic pesto myself but today i don't have much time so i'll just use the one from the store but i'll definitely include in one of my videos how i make my own pesto i absolutely love this cream cheese by kite heel it's vegan cream cheese i also will be using carrots and i like to buy a shredded one just because i don't have to also do the work and it's kind of like saves the time and also tomatoes and important part is i love to use jalapenos pickled i feel like in a wrap it gives like a really nice sour flavor you can also use fresh jalapenos or no jalapenos if you don't like spice
this lemonade, which is sweetened with stevia. So, and I honestly do love this one because it doesn't have a weird aftertaste like most of the drinks with sweeteners have. <laughs> Hey guys, as a snack, I actually found... Hey guys! Ah. We're supposed to be to the plane. We're playing airport with her. So this is airport and there's a plane and... No, there this is a... not the airport. Not the airport? What is this? This is the passenger. Where are we waiting for? Ah, okay, got it. Anyway, the passenger is going to have a snack, okay? So anyway, guys, I wanted to show I you a I little... Want, I want to... The passenger... The little passengers want a snack too. <laughs> Anyway, I wanted to show you like a little midday snack that I've been recently like doing pretty often. I told you I'm not very big on snacks, but this one felt like a good addition to my menu. It's a protein shake. It tastes very good and it's very low in sugar. So I really have been loving this as midday. I honestly tried multiple flavors, didn't love a lot of them, but vanilla one is the one to go. Okay guys, so we're into cooking our dinner and I told you I'm very excited about that one because I found a perfect recipe of a sweet peas mash and I feel like a lot of people love this side dish and actually it's so so easy to make at home it's like a good healthy substitution to mashed potatoes or other things so I highly recommend you to try that one super easy to make the dinner that can be ready in 20-25 minutes we're also gonna make pan seared salmon and that's pretty much it let's go, I'll demonstrate to you guys so good. Before we start, I wanted to show you what you need for sweet peas. So we need organic sweet peas. I buy frozen just because it's easy to store. Butter. Then we'll need one clove of garlic, sweet onion. We're gonna use the full thing. I like a lot of onions because it really gives the sweetness. And also vegetable broth or chicken broth, whatever you wish. And also we'll need salt and also oil. <laughs> Actually, we'll be using a little bit less onion. I realize it's probably a little bit too big. So we'll be using this amount. Garlic we just clean, but we don't need to really cut it because in the end we're gonna blend everything anyway. So we really not need it. mixture that we cooked in our high-speed blender it's still hot so we're gonna add two tablespoons of butter in there a little trick also I forgot to mention we're gonna squeeze some lemon there I just sneeze now <laughs> Okay, so a little trick, we are gonna squeeze a lemon. I honestly squeeze just like kind of measuring with my eye, but I think approximately, let's say two to three tablespoons. I feel like the lemon gives like a really nice touch to it. And we're gonna also put some salt and pepper. Also to your taste. You can always add more salt later. Okay. I think that's good. So now we're just gonna blend it. Okay, we have our pea mush ready. The best would be to decorate it with mint leaves because I feel like peas and mint always goes well together. Unfortunately, I don't have mint, so I will probably put just a couple leaves of basil on top to make it look presentable and cute. And we're gonna start cooking our salmon.
salmon, we have sweet pea mash as a side, and we have a simple salad. Super delicious, wholesome dinner. Allegra also love it. Right, Olivine? Yeah. You love salmon? I love salmon too. And you love also sweet peas, no? No, I don't like this one. You don't like when it's smashed? You like just sweet pea whole, right? When they're, when they're a little tiny, little, little tiny piece, right? Yeah. <laughs> I know that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed filming it. This one was a vlog of what I had in a day. A lot more is coming on my channel. More vlogs, more beauty stuff, and of course, what I had in a day. Thank you so much for watching it. I hope you liked it. Oh, forgot. I actually wanted to share with you one guilty pleasure. Nothing to do with healthy. It's healthy for the soul. I found these cookies. They're from Switzerland. It's called Cambly Butterfly Extra Thin Butters Biscuits. And they're so good. They come in vanilla and they also come in chocolate. And both are bomb. Like they're so thin and nice and crispy. Like highly recommend for you to try it. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.